Hello, you lovely person. Jay Stedman here, lead admin evangelist at Salesforce. And did you know there's a way for you to reuse the wonderful templates that you created in Slack's Block Kit Builder? Let's take a look. Okay. So we're right in the thick of it. I went to slack.com, I went to Blockkit Builder, and I created a really nice, really clean template that I want to use internally when we are uh, sharing admin podcasts as they're released. I've got a header, I've got a description, an image that will change each and every week, but there's a lot about this that won't change. For example, the format of it, I want to stay the same. The button that allows people to listen to the podcast immediately, or go to our blog, or share on Twitter, or share on other social platforms. The format of this is something that I very much like, and I don't want to have to recreate it every single time that I want to post to Slack in this really nice, really pretty way. You can see on the right that I've got my JSON payload. So what can I do if I want to reuse this? Well, if you take a look up at the URL, which I normally keep hidden during our Did You Know videos, you can see that I've got references to blocks, type, header, text. It turns out that everything that we've got in the JSON payload on the right-hand side is also contained in the URL. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And now I'm going to move over to uh, an application that I use for my own documentation. So uh, this is a quick doc that I put together for podcast publishing. I like to keep a home page that consists of all of the resources that I need to do a certain task. Now, you may not use Quip, and that's totally cool. Maybe you're using Evernote or a similar product. Perhaps you're using a Google or a Microsoft product. That's A-OK. -okay. The important part is that we have captured that um, uh, URL. I've copied that URL, and I've got it on my clipboard now. So I've got an uh, internal announcement block kit builder right here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a link. Boom, 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 done. And I'm going to close the existing tab that shows this block kit builder because I really want to see whether or not it's going to work. Okay. So I've clicked. And just like that, I have my header, I have my text section, I have my image, and now I can very easily send to Slack using the send to Slack button and choosing the channel uh, that I would like to send it to. And I've got this on hand now any time that I'm going to make an internal announcement about our podcast. Uh, when I click it, it'll take me here. And if I ever need to change anything, I can just very easily say, being a really great human. And now it says, being a really great human. And I could use that, uh, send it to Slack as well, just by clicking send to Slack and uh, putting it to the channel of my choosing. And that concludes the way that you can reuse the wonderful uh, uh, templates that you've put together in BlockKit Builder to have a more streamlined process and to save yourself some time. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I have been Jay Stedman, and we will see you next time.